you know, four years ago when I stood up and said, hey, why do you want to put a casino in my neighborhood? Some of the folks behind me were already fighting the fight. So this fight goes long, goes back long before I ever joined it. And I'm just glad that there were other citizens who were out there leading the charge before me. And, you know, we, we fought this from town to town. And all we wanted was a chance to have a, a, an open and honest debate across the state with all the voters having a chance to weigh in on it. The idea that the benefits are going to spread to all the regions of the, map, of the state but all the negative impacts would be relegated to a single community, just doesn't hold water. And this decision proves that the people's voice matters. And we're happy that we'll be able to take the, the casino industry on in the fall and have an open and honest debate. And we're confident that we're going to continue the education campaign that has been carried out in places like Palmer and Milford and Foxborough and East Boston. And we'll be, uh, we'll be successful in the fall in rejecting casinos here in Massachusetts.